The Cinderella Dress by Elizabeth Chadwick Megan glanced at her watch. Only 15 minutes to 5.30. Only one box of sail jumpers left to tag and she could go. Beyond the stockroom curtain, the ringing of the tills in the ladies' separates department revealed that the Christmas trade was brisk. Last year she had spent her money with the rest, but that was before she had been made redundant and her partner had absconded with a lap dancer. To make ends meet, Megan had been forced to take this horrid temporary job in Markham's department store. Grimacing, Megan counted out two dozen sludge green polar neck jumpers. At least she was going to a party at Sylvie's tonight. That was one bright bauble amidst the gloom. The curtain whipped back on its rings to reveal Mrs Bevan, the supervisor. I'm sorry, Megan, you'll have to stay on, she announced. There's a late delivery to be checked. But I'm going out, Megan protested. To a party. Mrs Bevan frowned. You agreed when you took this job to work extra hours at short notice. Surely not this short. It's double time. If you're quick, it'll only take a couple of hours. But I'm supposed to... Megan found herself talking to thin air. Damn, she said. Damn, damn, damn. A porter arrived with a stack of boxes, piled them in the stockroom and left. You'll have to manage those on your own, Mrs Bevan said. I'm helping out in lingerie. They've got twice as much as us. Her heels clacked a fading warpath on the laminated floor. Sighing, Megan texted Sylvia to tell her she'd be late and then began her assault on the mound of boxes. By 7.30, there was just one package left, a thin square box made of iridescent green tinfoil. Megan scanned the invoice, but everything was ticked off. The box had a spicy, perfumed smell, rather like expensive French soap. Gingerly, she raised the lid, and then gasped with pleasure.